Dreamscape presents Tornadoes, written and illustrated by Gail Gibbons. It is raining hard. The winds are strong. The sky is dark. Suddenly, a twisting column of moist air reaches down from a cloud and touches the ground. It makes a loud, roaring sound. It is a tornado. The word tornado comes from the Spanish word tronada, meaning thunderstorm. Tornadoes begin inside storm clouds called cumulonimbus clouds, which are made up of warm, moist air. These large, dark clouds can grow to be tall and enormous. There is lightning, thunder, rain, hail, and high winds. When warm, humid air rises from the ground toward a dark cumulonimbus thunderhead, it creates an updraft that pulls more warm, humid air with it. When the air rises to where the temperature is cooler, condensation occurs, creating rain or hail. The cool air falls back toward Earth, creating a downdraft. If the updraft and the downdraft come together and start to spin, a funnel-shaped cloud forms inside the thunderhead and sometimes tilts into a funnel that reaches down toward the ground. As the funnel cloud spins faster and faster, it sucks up more and more warm air and becomes bigger and louder and more powerful. If it touches the ground, a tornado is born. In 1971, T. Theodore Fujita developed the Fujita Tornado Scale, rating tornadoes on a scale from F0 to F5. Since then, the scale has been enhanced, setting stricter standards for measuring damage. Starting February 1st, 2007, the enhanced Fujita Tornado Scale has been used to classify tornadoes from EF0 to EF5. The letter F represents Fujita. The letter E represents enhanced. Classifications are mostly based on the amount and type of damage caused. There is no way yet to directly measure the winds in every tornado. Wind speeds are estimates only and are based on the severity of the damage. No matter how big or little a tornado is or how long it lasts on the ground, it is likely to cause damage. Enhanced Fujita Tornado Scale EF0 Tornadoes EF0 tornadoes may have wind speeds between 65 and 85 miles per hour or 104.6 and 136.8 kilometers per hour. They can damage chimneys, break limbs off trees, and blow over shallow rooted trees. EF1 tornadoes. EF1 tornadoes may have wind speeds between 86 and 110 miles per hour, or 138.4 and 177 kilometers per hour. They can peel the surface off roofs and overturn small trucks and mobile homes. EF2 tornadoes. EF2 tornadoes may have wind speeds between 111 and 136 miles per hour or 178.6 and 218.9 kilometers per hour. They can tear the whole roof off a frame house, demolish mobile homes, and snap or uproot large trees. EF3 tornadoes. EF3 tornadoes may have wind speeds between 137 and 166 miles per hour, or 220.5 and 267.1 kilometers per hour. They can uproot a forest and lift heavy cars off the ground. EF4 tornadoes. EF4 tornadoes 
may have wind speed between 167 and 200 miles per hour, or 268.8 and 321.9 kilometers per hour. They can demolish well-constructed houses, leaving few walls standing. Other structures may be blown off their foundations and moved some distance. EF5 Tornadoes EF5 tornadoes are the most violent tornadoes. They may have wind speeds of 201 miles per hour or 323.5 kilometers per hour and more. Well-constructed houses are lifted off their foundations, carried away, and totally destroyed. Trains have been lifted off their tracks. The devastation is so extreme that it is hard to believe. Tornado Alley. There are two regions in the United States that experience tornadoes frequently. One region is in the middle section of the country, where most of the violent tornadoes occur. It is often referred to as Tornado Alley. In this area, most of the tornadoes occur during April, May, and June. The other is the state of Florida, where most tornadoes occur during January, February, and March. The United States has about 1,200 tornadoes a year, more than any other country. On May 3, 1999, 96 tornadoes ravaged parts of Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, and South Dakota. If the EF scale had been in effect when the tornadoes occurred, some of the most destructive ones may have been classified EF-5. The damage in the Oklahoma City area alone was valued at more than $1 billion. On the afternoon of March 18, 1925, a record-breaking tornado devastated parts of Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana. It is called the Great Tri-State Tornado. An estimated 695 people died. It is believed 606 people died in Illinois alone. The tornado was on the ground for three hours and 29 minutes and traveled 217 miles or 349.2 kilometers. If the EF scale had been in effect at this time, this tornado also may have been classified EF5. Meteorologists are scientists who study weather. Meteorologists are on constant watch to predict and warn people of dangerous storms that may produce tornadoes. They study computer data and radar screens. The National Weather Service reports to television and radio stations if they see the possibility of tornadoes forming. This information is broadcasted every 15 minutes to give people some time to prepare. What to do when a tornado approaches? If your house has a basement, go to it at once. If you are in a house without a basement, go to an interior closet or bathroom far from the outside walls. Crouch down low and cover your head with your hands. Stay away from windows and outside walls. Try to cover yourself with a mattress or heavy blankets for protection from falling debris. If you can, crouch under a set of stairs. If you are in a car, get out immediately. Try to find a low spot, such as a ditch, to lie in. Lie flat on your stomach and cover your head with your hands. After the tornado, be careful of falling electrical wires, broken glass, and unsafe structures. Try to have an adult help you. Tornado Happenings Most tornadoes occur in the afternoon. Most tornadoes last less than 10 minutes. Most tornadoes rotate counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere, north of the equator, and clockwise in the southern hemisphere, south of the equator. In the United States, only the National Weather Service issues tornado forecasts nationwide. 
Tornadoes have occurred in all 50 states of the USA. Funnel clouds form over water, too. When they touch down on water, they are called water spouts. Most tornadoes are classified EF0 or EF1. EF5 tornadoes are very rare. For more tornado happenings, check out these websites.